How are you cats doing? Well, today I want to talk to you guys about having my uh, DNA tested and uh, to see where I come from, my ancestors. And I did this about uh, about four years ago, okay, to see because I knew there was a lot of controversy about uh, you know blacks being over in Egypt, okay. So I'm like, okay, let me let me because I because I, I made a video back in the day that were you know I listened to a lot of the scholars back then. Uh, I think it was Sheikh uh, Ante Diop and uh, Henry Clark. I listened to a lot of brothers like that that were scholars that had studied in the field, and I started studying these guys. All right, so uh, I started uh, looking uh, and, and reading what they wrote. Right, and this was when I was in my twenties, you know, because I wanted to know the truth. I mean, I, whoever, I didn't care. I didn't even know if my ancestors came from there. I really, I really didn't even think about that. I just wanted to know the truth. You know, okay, that was my biggest thing. It's like, hey, let me just know the truth. I, you know, whatever. I, I've been lied to so much in this in this this world or country, but because I wanted to just know the truth, right? So uh, I started studying. You know, I started seeing, well, let me see. Let me see what, uh, you know, what the truth is, okay? So what I started doing is I went and got my DNA tested, all right? Took them a long time. Took them about, I think about six months or so to get my DNA. And I did my mother and my father, right? So I wanted to know where I came from, right? So I found out. I found the tribe. I, I came from Africa. Found my tribe. And I started studying the tribes and both of the tribes okay told me they came from the Nile Valley and see to me Nile Valley is ancient Egypt or ancient Kemet and that's where I came from that's where my people came from so I, I studied that and you know and, and then I got a uh, I started doing more research so I, I looked at this uh, this this painting that they had in the on the walls of King, uh, I think it was King Ramsey the Third, okay, and this is like a to me it's like a camcorder or a picture that the way they saw themselves, right? Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm looking at it here on the computer, but I'm gonna put a picture up for y'all guys to look at. But the uh, the the picture A show the ancient Egyptian in the way he saw himself, right? Then you see B. The, the B is the Indo-European. That's the way he saw the European when he came in, right? Then he got a picture of C. This is the other Africans. That is, that's the way he saw the other Africans in Africa, right? You know, Egypt is in Africa. When ancient Kemet was in Africa. It was in that area. That's the way he saw it. And, and, and then he saw... Uh, the uh, the Semite and the Semite they said could stand for the Arabs or the Jews that's the way he saw them right okay so I'm like okay this is like a camcorder this is a picture okay we ain't got to guess no more about well this is a th these are uh, these black people didn't come from here they didn't come from Africa and all that and I ain't heard your scholars I ain't heard your museum folks and all of that and, you know, I'm, and I'm listening to my people. I'm giving my people more trust than I'm giving y'all's because I see this picture. I see the study. I see, um, I see, I can see it with my own eyes. It's like a camera. I'm looking through their eyes, right? And if you look at the Egyptian on A and you look at it on C, he sees that African exactly the same way he sees himself in ancient Kemet. Okay? So, look. I mean, th th you got to look at it. You got to look at that for what it is, right? And uh, you know, he saw the European. Yeah, we see. And you know that people always say, "Oh, they didn't see skin color." Stuff, la da 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 da. I don't know. I don't know all about that because obviously they ch they painted one cat black. And they can't paint another guy lighter, and then they painted another guy kind of reddish, yellowish light. You know what I'm saying? So he he saw color. They might have not had a big deal about it, but they had. They saw color because everybody is coming into this town. It's like New York. Everybody wants to come to New York, or they want to go to California, or Chicago, or they want to go into the the major cities, and that's normal. That's normal. I don't have nothing against Egypt. I, you know, I had a girl that write me 
Oh boy, she was all over me. Oh, you wrong, you this and that. You need to come. I look like Keith Cleopatra and all that. She sent me a picture of herself and I'm like, okay, she's a nice looking girl. I don't take nothing away from her. But that still don't neglect truth. If you're going to keep moving with knowledge, okay, from ancient Egypt, you got to go off of truth. You can't go off of just because you you uh, migrated to a place and, and y'all the majority now that, hey, that was us. And that's not right. That's not right. All you doing is there. Yeah, it, it might be y'all now. Nobody's taking that away from you guys. But that's still our culture. That is our culture. And we're not going to give that up. Just like when I wear this on. I'm teaching this to my kid. And I want him to teach it to his kid. And I want him to teach it to his kid. Okay? Because I'm never letting that go. I'm never letting our ancestors say, look, we were the people at that time. And now we're just going to let it go. We're just going to let it go. I mean, you see the troops, you see the soldiers, you see the, uh, why would they have a whole regiment, a whole uh, group of, of soldiers all the same color, okay, back in that time? Even when you go to uh, Nubia, which is now uh, Sudan, the same, all, everybody the same color. That makes, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? I mean, nobody's going to change. You're you going to have certain different races and all kinds of stuff in the army. Okay? I mean, you got everybody the same color, everybody the same. And so they did see color. You know what I mean? These are little figurines that they're making themselves. You see them in their homes. You see them working in the, in the carpentry shops, in the textile type meal shops. They, they see in themselves. This is a picture that they're looking through their eyes at themselves. Okay? You can't deny that. You can't deny that. And if you're going to go off with truth, and this is for my era, brothers and sisters. If you're going to go off of truth, tell the truth, okay? Yeah, y'all are there. I, I ain't taking nothing away from y'all. You see what I'm saying? You keeping up the museums and all that. Okay, I don't take nothing away from that. But that still don't say, let's take this away from Africa. And these are African people, okay? Because my DNA is saying I'm coming from there. And I'm never going to let that go. I'm never going to let my ancestors go. Never. I don't care what anybody tell me. You see what I'm saying? I'll be in my grave coming back. If I could come back up, I'd say, look, I came from I came from the Nile Valley in ancient Egypt and ancient Kemet. That's just me. All right. So, you know, that was that I just wanted to put that out there. And like I say, I have nothing against the, the Arab people. They seem like nice people. Other than that chick that wrote me, she her mouth was boy, she was cussing up a storm. I had to let her go. I had, to, I had to block her from my sight because I'm like, okay, I'm not going to talk to somebody that's just going to sit there and keep spouting uh, cuss words and all that. I couldn't deal with that. So I'm like, but, you know, on the, on, the, on the other side of that, when I blocked her, it was a whole lot of other folks. And I mean, I don't know if they was from, I guess they were from America. It was young folks or whatever. But it was like 10 some people, boy, they just, woo, they was all on her. They were like, you're lying, you don't know what you're saying, and da 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 I was like, woo-wee. You know, you got to realize it's an army. It's an army of truth seekers, just like I was. And they want to know where they came from. And that's not to take nothing away from Egypt. You know, we know people uh, come into a, a country and they'll eventually be the, the dominant of that country. Okay, we, 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 we good with that. But that still don't neglect the truth of that country. And who was the originator, just like the Aborigines in, Aus in Australia. We know who they are, okay? We're not going to take nothing from the Aborigines. That's them. Just like the Indians here, you have both black and white, okay? We're not going to take nothing away from them. They, if they were the, the native people, they're the native people, okay? But everybody, you you can come to that country, develop it, and make have super things going to the moon. So what? That still don't neglect the truth. You still got to say the truth, okay? All right. Well, that's that's my two cents, and uh, you know if you you get offended, then you just gonna get offended, you know. But the the, the truth is gonna have to be told. All right, all right then. <laughs> Y'all take it easy.